Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Um, so I was starting to take down my hair and I was like, hmm, this would be a good video. Let me show them taking down my hair. It'd be a good video because <laughs> I had my hair up for about three months. I think I, I initially did the braids the end of December, the end of December, beginning of January, one of the two. Um, so about three months. I've had them up for three months. Um, and I was like, let me show them what it looks like when you got your hair up this long and taking it down. Now I've had it up that long. I've done it. And I typically do this when I put braids in my hair. Anyway, I like to keep it up for a long time because my hair thrives off of, um, this kind of protective style, not all protective styles. Um, braids is is usually what it thrives off of um so i typically keep it in for a long time anyway i've always done that from like young when i used to uh do my own braids um but as i got older and started caring about my hair and i um was starting to be natural um and i've been natural for years y'all i've been natural I've been natural before natural being natural was a thing but um I I decided to start going about it a better way and I still I, I, I still got some steps I still got some steps to take because like now I'll I'll try to get closer in a minute and show y'all what I mean this like this is still not good I'm gonna have some breakage and stuff like that when I actually detangle and all that stuff because I did leave it up for so long but but what I am trying to do and trying to get better at um, is taking it down and redoing it. So the last couple of years, I've got better at doing that. So what I'll do is like I've, I've done half of it over at least once and I've done the front part over twice. I'm trying to get better about. So like if I leave it, if I'm going to leave it up for three months. I'm going to redo the whole thing three times at least and then redo the front more often than that um, and that's because like my I'm I have natural naturally thin edges if that makes sense my so my my edges are naturally thin my I don't have thick hair at all anyway but my edges are even thinner so when I have them in and it gets to pulling like this, um, I don't know if you can see it, the light is kind of bright, but it gets to pulling like that, it, it, it's pulling and it's pulling hair out. So I, I don't like to do that. And then I, I put it up into ponytails and stuff and it's even pulling even more. So I try not to let it get too further than this. It's far as when I do these over because so so I'll even do these over a whole lot like the two on these ends um uh, over a whole lot more than I would do the rest of it just just so it doesn't you know pull out my edges any more than than it might so I'm trying to get better about doing that um it's a work in progress <laughs> sometimes I just be like sometimes the reason why I like doing braid takes over and the reason is I don't have to do anything <laughs> I don't have to do anything to my hair like I said I'm natural so and I don't have a whole lot of hair but when you're natural your hair is more unruly and um a little it takes a little bit longer to deal with than if you just had straight hair relaxed hair typically when I have my natural hair out and I flat on it i don't really like having it this long <laughs> like i used to cut it all the time and keep it cut up to my shoulders because when it's down and it's straight it rubs against stuff so i what i would do is i would um flat on my hair during the colder months and then wear my hair in braids or if i do wear my natural hair i'll just wear it curly and different kind of protective styles or whatever in the hotter months because my hair reverts like that it doesn't take much for my hair to revert so when it's down um and it's in the colder months i have on sweaters and jackets and stuff like that it rubs against the fabric and breaks so i don't like to keep it 
long. I like to keep it cut up to my shoulders. But I would like to be able to just wear it curly and not have to do anything to it. But for me, I would like it longer. But if I keep cutting it, then it's never going to get longer. <laughs> so, I think I, I'm going to try. I, I say this all the time and then I end up cutting it. And I, and I end up cutting it because I want to cut it or I end up cutting it because I'm, I'm to the point to where I, I just want health over length. Um, I would rather it be healthy and look healthy than it be long and look like shit. <laughs> so I try to keep the scissors out of it and um, let it grow out. Now I said this like two years ago, y'all, and I've cut my hair like four times since then. <laughs> Which is, uh, cuts are good, y'all. Cuts are good. Trims are good. Um, like when you're trying to grow your hair out, trims are good. I trim my own hair and I'll cut my own hair. I try now to, I'll trim my own hair and I'll try to go get it cut by someone professionally once a year. If I don't find anyone, I, cause I don't go to the same person. I don't have a, like one person that I go to every time. But when I find someone, I'll get it cut, a good cut once a year. And I just say a good cut because I can cut my hair good myself if my head was not connected to my shoulders. <laughs> so I can't see in the back of my head. So I will I can give myself a good cut, but it might just be a little uneven just because it's just hard to reach back there. And my arms are short too, y'all. So, so it's a little hard. But like before I, before I put these in, I had just cut off about two inches. Like my hair is about to my tattoo right now. And I need to trim. I trimmed it before I put it in these braids. So I had cut, I had cut my hair a little while before I put it in the braids. And then while I was putting them in the braids, I trimmed it. So, I've got, I've got all the inches back, <laughs> all all the two inches back that I did cut off. Um, so it wasn't even down here when I initially cut it. It was probably about here when I initially cut it. And I cut about two inches off. So I've probably got a good three inches of growth since it's been in the braids. Um, and maybe a little bit before it was in the braids because like I said I cut it a little while before I put it in the braids I honestly probably need at least a half an inch off um, maybe I'll do maybe I'll cut that I don't know we'll see we'll see how I feel but I need at least a half an inch off now um, I can see, that. see when you can start seeing through the ends that's where you know that's where it needs to be cut off at so at least a half an inch off is what I, I need to take out. Like I said, I'm going to take this now. And um, I'm going to show y'all that a little bit of that at least. Because this is going to probably take me a while. The detangling part is going to take me a while. Because it's really not braids. It's twists. Um, what I did was I braided it down just somewhat. And then I twist the rest. So taking this out easy breezy it's just the detangling is what is going to be a so that's my fault though i should i should have the front part shouldn't be that bad because like i said i did the front half over more recently but this back i i took this one down it probably took me a good five minutes to um detangle just this one just the one y'all so i'm gonna see how far i get it's 4 12 he get off about six uh two hours i'm gonna try to get this done in two hours i'm gonna watch some youtube <laughs> and try to get this done in two hours probably won't get it done in two hours um i'm right now I'm, I'm trying to take a braid out detangle it and then go on to the next 
I'll probably get to the point to where I just start taking the braids out. And, I, and I'll go back through and detangle. I don't know. We'll see how, how easy um, and frustrated <laughs> I get during the process.
Okay, guys, I am going to stop this here. Um, and later, when I get to the top, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this done before I go back to the gym again. Um, so, this might spill over till tomorrow. I don't know. But when I get closer to the top and I can pull y'all in closer, I'll, um, I'll turn the camera back on and show y'all me doing the top. Because from here, it's just going to get redundant. So, and it's, I know it's hard for y'all to see, actually. Um, so, we'll come back when I get to the top. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm to the front. I kind of left a lot. I didn't really mean to leave this much. But <laughs> I forgot to look at the time to see what time it was. But it, didn't, it actually didn't take me that long. So what I realized, because I was taking down the back um, row, I was like, it's only been three months. And honestly, I've left, yeah, I've left my braids in longer than that before. And it was that bad. So it shouldn't have been that bad <laughs> off of three months. <laughs> so, um... What I realized as I went up and started taking more down, it got easier to detangle, is that the back row and like the perimeter, like around my ear, stuff like that, those were the hardest to take down because when I get in the shower, so when I have my braids in, I don't typically... um Put a shower cap or anything over it it's braids like that's one of the reasons why i put it in there so i don't care if they get wet i don't care if whatever whatever the case is <laughs> but so they get wet and that is what makes it more knotty i guess because you gotta think um you got product in there and then you're gonna get dirt build up and then um also, like for a little bit, I did, and I that was that's one of the things on my list. Try to help make my protective styles, braiding protective styles, more protective. Is uh, still tying my hair up at night when I go to sleep, or putting a bonnet on. Really putting the bonnet on, because y'all honestly, I'm I spent money and bought. You know, it wasn't a whole lot of money, but money is money, and you know whatever but I spent money and bought bonnets specific bonnets so that I could wear bonnets like because I know I'm not a fan of tying my hair up not a fan of like not saying not a fan because I don't like it it's that I I get lazy and don't want to do it <laughs> even though it's like a nothing to it just uh just get the damn scarf or whatever and tie it up I just don't do it. <laughs> so I bought bonnets because hell, throw the bonnet on, you get to go. Um, especially like like for nowadays when I'm not really doing a whole lot and all I am doing is around the house. So I sit down and lay down a lot. I just wear the dang on bonnet all day. Whatever the case. So I said that to say with product build up, um, the dirt you're you're gonna um get and laying for me in my case laying down without anything on my hair so the rubbing i have satin satin pillowcases but i i have a ton of pillows on my bed and not all of them um have satin pillowcases so like the cotton ones just the uh lint and stuff from that gets all tangled up in there too so then you add on the water and then like i said the laying down the friction of rolling over and stuff it just it intertwines all of that the hair the dirt and all of that so that is what made it harder on the perimeter to uh take down because once i got up i was like now this feels more like 
what it would typically feel like to take it down. It, you know, I still had to detangle some, but it was much easier. I got through it much easier <laughs> than, than that back row. So hopefully that means not as much damage than what I expected. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. Also have this too. I was using my like a dimming brush to to comb it out. Um, let me show y'all something else while I'm on the topic. <laughs> um, this is a product I use. Uh, I use this a lot. I used to use this a lot on my daughter's hair before she had dreads. Can y'all see that real good? Skinky curly knot. Um, they have a whole line. You can find it almost almost anywhere. Um, I find it at Walgreens is where I, where I get it from. I've had this bottle for a while though, honestly. It's probably old. It still works. I don't know. But, um, and then I have a spray bottle with conditioner and water in it.
Yes, I have good hair and you have good hair too. <laughs> Everybody has good hair. If you got hair on, if you got a hair on your head and it's healthy, it is good hair. And having healthy hair, I mean, you know, it's a plus too. So, here it is. Here it is. I'm gonna turn around the back so y'all can see the back. It be looking like it's somewhat thick. <laughs> it be looking like it's somewhat thick, but it's not. I promise y'all, if, if y'all seen this, this exact hair, flat arm, <laughs> y'all be like, your hair thin? I be like, yes, yes it is. <laughs> Um, like I said, I'll try to, I'll try to feel me washing it and stuff, um, shampooing it and stuff, um, but we'll see. So, make sure y'all like this video. So, I know y'all like things like this hair video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Comment if you want to see, if you want me to film a, um, a wash day routine before I get these other braids put back in. Comment, let me know if y'all want y'all want to see me um doing the next set of braids that I'm gonna do. Share. And I'll see y'all next time. See y'all next time. <laughs> Bye y'all. <laughs>